back from ASG. We're going to build this car in four days. So, go. I wanted to help do the aftermarket accessories with this, but I think the deadline's too tight and the arguments just aren't worth it, let's be honest. Warney and Brent are gonna start doing the bull bar today and we're just basically gonna make it up as we go along because the deadline is ridiculously tight. So, what's going on? Alrighty, so today we're just picking up some of Amy's parts that we needed to get painted because she wants to be all wild and leery and fancy and stuff. So I'm just down at the paint shop and the boys have done a fantastic job on the components that we needed done. We had this great idea to show the boys building this car, taking it to the show, here's the progress. It didn't got a, happen. It didn't happen, it got a bit crazy. Yes. We, Why uh, did it get crazy though, Amy? Because we built four cars for the show. <laughs> all at one time? All at one time. Mm, all at one time. So, Whose idea was that? Mine. Amy's you idea. Did it though. Yeah, we did do it, and the guys did a really good job. So we built four cars for the show, which was ambitious ambitious and crazy and it came out good though on the day it did so i wanted to be more involved in installing the accessories but that couldn't happen because i can't work as fast as these boys so that that didn't happen um, but be... we haven't done too much so you were gonna kind of talk about what has happened at least that way everyone who is watching the progress of the build can get a bit more of an understanding on what has happened kind of up to date. So the boys worked on this in three days. So what you can see that we're about to show you happened between Monday and Thursday afternoon before the show. So they, I, I can't, they are amazing. I was just expecting the car to be there on wheels. Mm. That was it, chopped and on wheels. They did much more than that. So come and have a look. We have done a chrome delete. There isn't much chrome on a GXL 200, so all it really entails, because we've chopped the back off it, is this front grille and these parts through here. Uh, on our other 200s, we generally paint this part the body colour, but it was actually Warney's idea to do it black, and I'm... Well, I just think for ours, it works a little bit better. Yeah. It depends what you're doing and, and what kind of bar work you're running, all that type of stuff, so... Uh, this is the brand new bar from EFS. It is called an escape bar. We were lucky enough to have the first one to come out of the box. I really like it. Uh, we have a carbon 12,000 pound winch, factor 55 green hook. This is the one thing that I wanted to make sure it looked the same as the other car. My number plates are 04 BAW, so that's one thing that's gonna be the same. Uh, if we come around here, I chose these wheels for the only reason that I have not seen them anywhere. I didn't even particularly like them, but I just went, I've never seen them before. These are an ROH Sniper in a 17 by nine. They are a load rated wheel for any of our 70 series or 200 series friends that need load rated. And Geolanda XAT, which have a two year on road and off road warranty, funnily enough, and an aggressive all, all terrain. Clearview next gen mirrors, Uncle Mike, is an honorary part of the BAW family. Uh, he has been amazing to us. Do you know Uncle Mike sold to us in our driveway? Just amazing. 
and we have clear view next gen power boards i'm really excited for the children to be able to get in and out of the car without killing themselves saf was like so stoked when he opened the door the step came down it was like he'd seen a transformer or in real life or something like that it was cool we have talk it dpf back exhaust we, I really wanted to run a twin exit, dual exit exhaust, but there isn't one to run with this 350 extension yet. It's still pretty cool though. It is. It's still three inch twin pipes, as you can see, all the way back to the rear. What are we doing up here? We have a Rhino Rack Pioneer platform on backbone. This backbone has to be custom fabbed to suit the chop which is kind of cool. ASG did that for us while it was up at their workshop. Which was super handy, wasn't it? Yeah, it's much easier when the roof lining and all that's out. So they were like, just give us the backbone and we'll do it. Our wonderful uh, apprentice, first year apprentice, Ryan, did this. He wired the whole rack. He did an amazing job. He did do a great job. Uh, what have you got there, Amy? These are Max Trax Extreme. So we also have a Uniden UHF, which isn't wired up yet, but this will be the antenna for it. And then that will be the antenna for my Solfi Go mobile phone antenna and a solar panel that will be connected to something eventually. So it looks very functional, but does nothing at this point of time because we're halfway through the build. So don't judge me. Um, anyway, why are they up here, Amy? Oh, cause they didn't fit on the bar. <laughs> As you saw, the brand new bar, yes, it does not really have much space on it for accessories. So we had to get a little bit creative. There are a couple of other bracket things out there that you can use, but we kind of like this the best. The boys came up with this and I think it's a really cool idea. These are Rhino Rack brackets. Uh, I, like, I like these because they've got the lock nut in them. So you don't get any movement when it's locked into position. So if you want to pull it up, you can lock it up. If you want to leave it down, you can lock it down and it doesn't vibrate or anything. So that's probably my favorite feature. So this week, the boys are going to try and finish the build so I can start to drive it. We're still waiting on the Boss aluminium train canopy set up. That's a few weeks away and I need to send it to Changi to get ceramic coated before then as well. So this week, the boys are going to finish the fuel tank. They started that on Friday afternoon from Brown and Davis. They're going to put the stereo in. They are going to, there is a fully sealed alternator going in, catch can, pre-filter, snorkel, Armax ECU, ERPS, underbonnet dual battery setup. Onboard air. Onboard air. <laughs> a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So that is this week's plan. And hopefully it'll be done. Yeah. We can start to drive it. We're close, we're very close. So I'm excited to drive it. So that will be coming this week. It's fully hectic. Do you want me to get in it? Throw gang signs. No. I don't. That's all, pretty good. All for the gram, Brent. All for the gram. What are we doing here, Amy? Yeah, Amy's got to talk to her car. That's actually a great idea. Come on then, here we go. <laughs> So we've got a we've got a fully sealed alternator here from Rapid Power that we are going to fit onto Amy's 200. It's a little space and a big alternator. It is a small space with a big alternator, so we're going to have to persuade it in. One of our customers said, Brent, he yeah. said, I should do more filming and you should be on the tools more. All right, no worries. Let's, what he let's, said. let's just swap it over then. <laughs> so that's what's happening today, uh, along with a Safari Armax snorkel and ECU that Sam has started to wire as part of everything else that's going in the vehicle. And then we're going to just continue to do more wiring and more things that are going to go in, more prep. So it should be good. We'll uh, basically keep you guys up to date as we go. I'm just undoing this. And there we go. New feed up to the battery. And uh, show you how it all kind of happens and comes together. So 
bear with me because this is going to be difficult to try and get this alternator into this car. It is a tight space, but here we go. Is doing just doing the wiring and putting it all back together we're trying to do hey champ mm -hmm. so at the moment we are just integrating your factory camera stuff mm. into our aftermarket head unit but after that we've got a pretty much clean run to put the interior front back together now you helped me out with that, um, remember we did that camper trailer? Remember that camper trailer that we had to do and I needed you to cable tie some wires up so I stuck you in that tunnel? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was back at the old workshop? I that think. was back at the old workshop. <laughs> that, that was, a, that was a, actually a hard job. It was hot in there. Yeah, it was hot in there, wasn't it? It was very tight squeeze, so I had to get the apprentice in there. Hey mate. We pay you, don't we, champ? <laughs> we pay you. You don't pay me. Do. Oh, come on. Yeah, we do. Taking one more breath beside you. So I could find strength to divide us. this says put it down in the comics comics below and look at our merch we've got we've got hats t-shirts stickers even more just go to baw.com.au thanks Alright, so I wanted to show you guys where I'm up to before I go and kind of put it all back together. Um, Amy had a... Well, actually, I don't think Amy... Who, whose idea was it? It was mine, and then you took it to the next level. That's right. You were like, what if we did... Well, okay. I saw I on ASG's Sandy Torp Chopped 200, they had these parts, Sandy oh, Torp. the steering wheel, that's right. And I was yeah. like... Hey Brent, do you reckon we can do that? He's like, sure. And then... And then I just got a bit crazy and did everything. I so you well. Everything that was kind of silver. Yeah, it's not a 70 series, bro. Sorry. 
<laughs> find something metal. <laughs> the donk. Just stick it onto a seven. Everything that was silver on the interior, I've pretty much removed. Plus a couple of black strip things that I think is going to look pretty cool. And we actually got it color coded to the car. So I think once I put it all back together, as you can see, nah, none of that's metal, mate. As you can see, it's already starting to look pretty good. Yeah. Well, it's pretty dark in here, isn't it? Um, so that's kind of what happened with the interior, which looks really good. I think once the rest of it goes in, because all this up here is green, and then the, yeah, it's going to look good. So oh, that's why I want to put all the interior back in. Because I want to see it. finito -ed. There is nothing lost between us And oh, I know you have your reasons Some days I'm a mess, but I know There's a rainbow over all of the past Your head on my shoulder But I know we're better on our own But this is how we grow Alright, so I just wanted to update you guys on where we're at with Amy's car. We've kind of run everything that needs to be run now. So I've got all our power feeds and everything out to the front. You know, isolator for the winch. Uh, most of our feeds, the battery are ready to rock and roll. A little bit going on in this thing. Um, red arcs ready to go. Dual batteries pretty much in place. Uh, ECU's basically rocking and rolling. I do have the intercooler off because I've been fitting that. I did get the head unit back in today as well, which was good. Put the interior back in, kind of. So there's still a little bit to go with that, but I've got most of it back in. And that's kind of happening. The rear's still a bit of a shambles. I put a couple of extra outlets on the back here though for the kids, USB outlets, things like that on the back of the um, console. Warney put the compressor and the tank in there for us the other day on Friday. So that's kind of ready to rock and roll now for wiring and plumbing. We've already got airlines and everything coming in and out of that. So that's all kind of ready to go as, lo uh, as long, along with most of our wiring for the rear here. Almost. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Roof rack went off because I changed the front light. We've actually gone for a 50 series road vision light bar rather than the 40. Because the 40 is obviously a bit slimmer than this one. So there was obviously a lot more gap there and I was like, oh yeah, we'd put a 50 in there, no drums at all. So that's what we've done. So we're still playing around with that. It's got to come off because we're going to send it to A1 Detailing for a ceramic coating job anyway. But um, pretty happy with how this is looking now. All of our painted components are gone back in. So the green's looking pretty cool. Once we get a bit more light, we'll um, show you guys a bit more of that. But that's kind of what's happening. It, it's, it's the exact same thing at the four wheel drive show. We're just giving it an upgrade. That's it. What else are we doing, champ? We're also... We're also giving it a new back. New back. But when it's all done, we and and we want to drive it. We we've kept Dad's old back car, so we can put that on instead of waiting for the back for the new back. It's gonna be good, eh? Mm-hmm. Basically, that means I kept the tray off the '70 series. We're gonna put new mounts on that to suit this, whilst we wait for our boss setup to come. So. That's what's going to happen there. Anything else we should mention? No. Nope. All right. Wait, 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 wait. All we need to do is finish the inside and then just work on the back. That's it. 